Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the Sacral Chakra over here. And this is about dealing with some emotional issues that you might be having with and a need for you to get, uh, you know, yourself balanced as far as that goes. So Sacral Chakra deals with personal emotions, how you're feeling about situations and taking back control as far as your emotional uh, situation is going. Now, it seems like somebody is causing some problems over there. You've got the devil card over there. So somebody is manipulating you on that emotional level and you're feeling a bit disempowered. So usually when that Sacral, sacral Chakra card comes up, you know, that is blocked. Uh, you know, your power or your ability to overcome this person uh, is a bit blocked right now and they seem to be uh, holding you. There seems to be something that they're, or, uh, you know, something about the situation is holding you in check there and preventing you from moving on. And it looks like you do want to move on. You've got that um, six of uh, swords over there coming in. So, you know, you are going through a lot of difficulties at the moment. So whatever they're doing, they might be causing... There might be a lot of conflict in whatever your situation you are in with this particular person uh, and you know they're they're preventing you from moving on and you know they're also disempowering you at the same time because uh, you know you're not able to uh, overcome uh, their emotional manipulation that is going on around you now in the past over here you've got this accelerated mo motion card over here so things have been moving pretty quickly for you maybe there's some news that has come in maybe you've been doing a lot of travel as well there's a lot of mental conflict going on over here so there's some kind of decision you have to make it could be something to do with legal issues because this is the two of swords but whatever this decision is that you have to make you're very much in your head about it you're thinking about it and you're very stressed out about it now going into the future maybe the decision is for you to actually how it is you're going to break uh, you know your ties with this particular person or with this particular situation and maybe this is what's causing you to have all this anxiety now you've got foundations and achievement over here and this is the four of rods and this is about uh, you know getting victory in the situation whatever you're doing is going to be successful whatever projects you're working on uh, and maybe this is even buying a new home uh, moving on with that four of rods it's about establishing foundations really you've got the rest and rejuvenating card over here this is another four so these now fours are cards of stability uh, and or numbers of stability rather so you know you are establishing that stability back again you need to t to take some time off by yourself regroup think about what is going on make a new plan this is very important if you're going through any health issues due to stress you also need to take some time out get yourself a holiday as well uh, in order for you to recuperate from whatever's going on with you and it looks like you want to move on from the situation and you will be a new doorway opening up for you and you are being divinely guided as well to get through the situation so those are the energies for that week so I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, kingdom within tarot So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune over here. So things are about to change for the better for you. Uh, this is the card ruled by Jupiter. It's the planet for expansion. Uh, this is about luck changing. Um, so, you know, it's the roll of the dice, really. But it also is talking about things moving on. You know, it could get better. It could be, get worse. But it will change. This is the most important thing. So whatever the situation you are in will change for something. And generally, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune, it's generally a positive change uh, coming in for you. So... Um, um, things are about to, you know, events are about to occur that you cannot control, but they will change the circumstances in which you are at the moment. 
So what's happening with you over here? You've got the moon card with the empress card over here. So the moon card talking about you being afraid to make big changes or being afraid to move on, being very confused about what to do, about things being hidden from you as well. So somebody could be around you and they could be lying to you about this particular situation. You, you're feeling as though you're in the dark. If you can see clearly this woman sitting over there with her hands and feet tied and she's got a blindfold on. So some information has not come to light. And you are feeling as though, you know, she, this person standing in fire there. Uh, so it looks like, you know, you're feeling very, very disempowered at the moment. There might be some uh, news coming in for you as well with this particular card over here. Um, you know, you also need to use your intuition a lot when you're dealing with this. So you might be very stressed out at this particular moment as well, not sleeping very well, a bit depressed. Um, you know, maybe things feel like they're going round and round in circles and nothing seems to be coming, uh, you know, to light or there may be no resolution to whatever you're going through. Now, You've got a lot of expectations over here. You want to do a lot of things with this Empress card over here. You can see this Empress is pregnant over here. Um, and you will achieve it, whatever your goals are. You're working towards it. You're working towards your independence. And this is about being self-made in whatever situation you are in. So you are working very, very hard towards things. With these fans, they tend to, you know, you're using a lot of mental energy as well to get your goals done. Uh, and you're, you're trying to establish yourself and bring in that life that you want. So in the past, you've got the Ten of Swords. It looks like you've laid a situation to rest. Something happened. There might have been a betrayal. There might have been a legal situation that ended uh, or some kind of contract that you had that ended. It looks like whatever that situation was was quite nasty uh, and you know you had to walk away from it. It looks like there were a lot of people against you. You can see a lot of backstabbing going on over there. So a lot of betrayal going on there. And you know, uh, it seems like... Uh, Everybody uh, was against you there. It's a card of ruin. So it looks like you've uh, come through a lot of loss as well. With that sun in Gemini, you know, it was very harsh. Uh, and people were really not sympathetic to whatever you were going through. You've got the Prince of Wands over here. So it looks like, you know, you're getting back on your feet again there. And you might be doing a lot of travel as well. With that Prince of Wands, it's about relocating to do your job somewhere else. So you may have ended an old work situation where things were not going very well and started something where you were traveling a lot, um, you know, networking a lot, working with a lot of a lot more people, uh, you know, needing to use a lot more strategy. Um, and so it looks like, you know, you have, you had, you did come out from this particular situation and you are bringing yourself out. It means, you know, you may have started a new job somewhere else. So on your mind, you've got the Prince of Swords over here. So still dealing with some legal issues that were going on. Maybe this is just, you know, what had happened in the past. There might be some residual uh, legal problems that you are dealing with with that Prince of sword or Swords over here. Um, you know, and you're waiting, maybe you're waiting for some kind of news to come in. You could also still be dealing with somebody that is, uh, you know, a very much a liar uh, as well. And somebody who causes, stirs up a lot of problems uh, with that Prince of Swords. Now going to the future, the focus is going to be on work and money and acquiring um, uh, wealth really. So you are going to be very, very focused. Uh, this card talking, it talks about working in a group situation, networking, being in charge um, and you know taking control, being in a leadership position but working very, very hard and very focused on your money and on your work. And there will be victory. You've got that Prince of Pentacles over here. So you can see he's holding the wreath and the, the box uh, with the pentacle on it. And it's all raised up. So despite what anybody else has got to say about whatever you're doing, it looks like you're going to be very, very successful. There might be new study coming in as well for you with this Prince of Pentacles. So some news about money, uh, good news about work as well. And there's a victory in that particular situation. So this new job looks like you might get a promotion with it or there might be some good news, um, you know, where you get some kind of payout. Maybe this legal situation that you have been dealing with in the past is going to give you some financial rewards. You are waiting for things to happen, though. You've got the high priestess over here, um, you know, um, spending a lot of time by yourself, following your own, own intuition and, and waiting for things to happen. Uh, you know, so you're not being very proactive at this particular moment and you're waiting for things uh, to come to light. So waiting for cycles to change. Maybe all of this is time dependent in some sort of way and you're waiting for this to come come in for you, whatever the success is. Whatever you're doing with this queen of, um, with this high priestesses, keep all your uh, private information to yourself. Don't divulge any information to anybody around you. You've got the Hermit over here, so your plan is just to focus on your work. You might be thinking of doing some further study as well with that uh, Virgo um, influence there. 
Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So uh, there is some kind of legal issue that is tying you up a bit there. You haven't seen any, you know, things have not come to light yet. Still in the dark about things. So with the Moon card still being in the dark about things, but also with this Eight of Swords, you'll see she's wearing an, a blindfold over there and she's a bit uh, tied up. So you are feeling very, very stuck within this particular situation over here um, and uh, very, very tied up. You can see with that moon card, which was that first card over there, being very tied up as well. So you're feeling very bound. There's something that is maybe legally binding to you um, and you can't seem to get yourself out of it right now. Uh, the Five of Swords is feeling very alone, very alienated, very isolated. You can see this um, woman is under the ground over here. And there's so much of conflict going on above her. So you are trying to withdraw. You're, you're hanging on to the things that are important to you over here. It's a lot of fire, so a lot of drama going on around you. Maybe a lot of, uh, you know, there could be verbal issues, uh, verbal abuse going on, but there could also be a lot of legal issues that you're trying to deal with. And, you know, you want this all to change. Um, so a lot of problems that you're re dealing with at this particular moment, and it's keeping you pretty much stuck there. Now, uh, the final card is the Four of Wands, and this is the card, really, of being victorious in a particular situation. Uh, so, uh, you know, whatever the conclusion is, there is going to be some kind of victory coming in over there with that Four of Wands. Um, and, you know, you're going to be able to make some future plans over there. Um, so, whatever the outcome is from whatever the situation is, it, it looks like it's going to be victorious. The Four of Wands is the card of celebration, so there is some celebration coming up over there. Um, you know, it might not all be what you want, but most of it is going to come your way. So after dealing with all this conflict and problems, it looks like, you know, you will be able to establish yourself again, and you will have victory in this particular situation. I'm going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot, and this is for the Oracle read. So the first card um, is the Two of Water, and this is a positive resolution to the conflict that you have been facing. So whatever comes through, whatever problems that come through, whatever conflict, there is a positive outcome uh, for it. There is a victory to this uh, resolution to these problems. You've got the Magician card over here. So you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Uh, so everything that you set your mind through now, you're going to be able to manifest. And you're going to be very busy soon, uh, very uh, multitasking, working to deadlines, working on yourself, and making a fresh start as well with that Magician card. And then you've got the Four of Water. Uh, this is an opportunity coming in. Don't miss it. It looks like it's a really good opportunity. Um, and don't, uh, you know, miss the opportunity because you didn't see the possibilities behind it. So consider all opportunities, all avenues first before deciding what you're going to do. And it looks like this opportunity is going to be coming in for you. You yourself are going to be able to manifest it with the Magician card. So it's, uh, you know, everything that you're do that you are doing at the moment is going to be the thing that brings that opportunity to light for you. And there will be a resolution to this particular conflict. This conflict that you're going through, it looks like it's going to sort itself. So if you're going through some legal issues, things are going to come out and there's going to be resolution and you're going to be able to move on um, as well. And so that focus is going to be mostly on work um, and it is going to be about you being victorious in whatever the situation is. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take